Today we bring you Reconstructing Spirit Hill. Hey there YouTube, today we're going to go over how to paint um, on these walls. I'm not using a flat paint because number one, this is a bathroom and throughout our house we use eggshell just because we have three kids, two boys, and the eggshell is a lot easier to clean than a flat paint. It's also harder to paint. Um, so I'm going to give you a few tips on just rolling paint. Um, on our first coat, you'll notice I haven't cut in the walls anywhere, and I do that because as the first coat's drying, I can go back and cut it all in, and then turn around and do my second coat. Um, if you're using flat paint, when you roll it out the first time, if you get a nice coat, you should be able to cover um, a lot of the imperfections visible to the eye. However, when you're using an eggshell, you're going to have to do two coats. And that's because the eggshell is a little shinier and it's going to pick up a few more imperfections in the wall and it'll be seen because eggshell has just got that characteristic. So we're going to do two coats. And um, basically on this first coat, I'm just trying to get the color on the wall. Um, I want to do it as evenly as possible, so you'll notice that uh, as I get the color in, I'm going to kind of just smear it around. And then as my roller runs out, I'll clean the edges slightly and then do some long rolls from top to bottom smooth out the paint surface. When you do this on your final coat, it'll make the most difference. Just do a light roll with very little paint. Just smooth it out after you get the color on the wall. Um, it's very important to do that because otherwise you'll see roller marks on your painted surface when you're all done. And if you're trying to do this in one coat, it's detrimental to do it. Um, if you're doing two coats, like I am, this first coat doesn't really matter as much, but you still want to get it as smooth as you possibly can on that wall. Now I'm just going to roll it down. Once I get all of this painted, my next step is going to be to cut it all in. Be sure you watch my video on cutting in if you want to learn to paint like a pro. Cutting in is probably the most important part of painting. And then we'll come back and we'll do our finished coat. 